Alright, we're going with what the directions say. Ah! The directions are wrong! Good morning, Modern Stutters. It's cold outside this morning. Real cold. It's like negative five. We need to go out there and get some work done. But first, while it's still a little early, we're gonna get some inside stuff done for the project instead of doing it outside and getting cold. I picked up a three quarter inch, ooh, 10 foot long metal pipe the other day to mount our weather station on. I have a few ideas for it. Let's go see what we can find to mount it to our meat pole. Let's see. Plumbing supplies somewhere. Nope. Yes. That's it. I'm hoping for some hangers. Not that hanger. Not that hanger. Ah, right here. That's what I want. So what I am thinking is with the pipe, we take a couple of our hangers, we can secure that to our meat pole. Four should be way more than enough. Um, I don't know if I use a regular screw like this, that's got a tapered end. If it's going to end up cutting through the plastic and breaking it. Look at this guy, hold on. Do you see that? Figaro, what do you think you're doing? Huh? Yeah, you. Get out of there, mister. Hey. Get down. Come on. Oh, you're crazy. You're not supposed to be up there, mister. Come on. <sighs> that cat gets into everything, I tell you. Don't even ask me how he got up there. I probably don't want to know. I think he just likes photobombing us. All right, so back to the screws. I'm thinking that doing the tapered is gonna crack the plastic. I might have some pan head screws. Let's see. I just found I think these are left over some hex screws. These are left over when we put the sliding window rails in the outdoor kitchen. If you guys haven't seen the outdoor kitchen build, that was fun. It's a post and beam building that we built using a lot of upcycled material. And we have sliding glass, eight foot long windows. So if you haven't seen that series, I'll put a link right here to that playlist. Do you just like photo bombing us, Figaro? Huh? Think you need to steal the spotlight? So we need a base for that pipe to sit on because I'm not going to have it sitting on the ground. So what I am thinking is taking a piece of 2 by 4 I'm going to need our skill saw. No battery. That's alright. I charged it up the other day. Our drill. Looking over here, let's see. Perfect. Find a spot to set it. It's going to be easiest to do it in our vice. Yeah, that'll be a good depth for that pipe to sit into. 
I like that. That'll be a good stop. All right, before I go up there, I want to make sure I have all the bits I'm going to need. This next pot might prove interesting. I need my ladder today, and my ladder is somewhere under there. Yep, we gotta find it. Um, I'm hoping it's not up against the Quonset tent, because if it is, we're not getting it. Ah, I found it, guys. I'm standing on it right here. Get out of the light, fluffy snow. That's what we got yesterday. On top of that is ice. <laughs> and that's where the ladder is. Aha! I found it. At least one of the rungs. There we go. I know it's not very good tool carriage, but an old ladder. Don't use it very often. Perfect. And it's only part of a ladder. <sighs> All right, kids, don't try this at home. I'd feel safer in my Kubota, but I don't want to start this morning. I think we better double check and make sure this pipe's the right size. It's what size they said to use in the manual. So. Hopefully they're right, but we'll check. The Kubota ran last night. I got it running late afternoon after the sun done beating on it all day long. So tomorrow is supposed to be mid 30s. So I know it'll fire up tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna be pushing back the snow banks and opening up the road, because they are calling for more snow. So it's one of our priorities to do tomorrow. Direction said three quarter inch metal pipe. So we're going with what the directions say. Ah! The directions are wrong! It fits! But there's a ton of slop! Ugh. Well, the metal pipe has got a lot of slop. The one inch pipe is too big around. A plastic PVC pipe fits perfect. But the thing I don't like about the PVC pipe is you don't have the strength. I want to be able to take this up and down easily. So if I need to change out the batteries, it's not a huge pain. So what I was thinking, and what got me thinking about this is we used plastic hinges on the $30 chicken coop and the chick brooder. I'll put a link to those videos right here. And they work perfectly. So I didn't have an empty windshield washer bottle again, but I had one for soap. So what I'm gonna try, my piece of plastic. I also grabbed electrical tape. We can get it to stick to itself. Nice. All right. There, that works. All right, make sure it takes up enough slop. It does, we gotta push it on. 
perfect. That's what I want. I want a nice tight fit. Alright, don't tell Gina I'm using her dish soap. Maybe that'll lube it better. Nope. Boy. There we go. I'm going to pre-drill one of our holes. Awesome. On there. All right. We'll do two of them. Being over there is going to be the fun part. You having fun, Pluto? You like the deep snow? You're crazy. All right, I have an idea of the height. I'm gonna temporarily put the blocking here. Might end up changing it out because it might not look as pretty as I want it to. But I'm gonna temporarily install it so I can get the right position. southern direction and then we're going to do another step. I'm get my compass up on my phone and self is that away. So we're going to get that positioned. So I'm going to pre-drill right through the pipe. I'm going to screw it and that way it'll lock it in place. go anywhere. So the top of the mahogany overhang is 14 feet. So the top of the pole is probably about 15, the telephone pole, sorry, utility pole. And then to the top of the weather stations, I'm going to guess about 16 feet. So I think we got good height. It's southern facing the way it's supposed to be. We're up in the sky far enough. We should be a good distance from the outdoor kitchen. We're not perfect for wind, but that's where we have it. I like having it near the house so I can look out my window and see how fast the wind turbine's spinning. I just find that kind of fun. So you gotta go with what you enjoy. The tools are held up great. I put that ladder behind the outdoor kitchen so I don't have to go trek back in that snow. Me and Pluto are gonna go inside now. Sit by the fire, drink some hot cocoa, warm our toes up, and just nap for the rest of the day. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Pluto, does that sound good to you? She's in agreement. Thanks for coming along on another one of our crazy journeys. I'm glad I got to move the weather station. I'm glad I put it on the outdoor kitchen at first. Got to learn with it, got to play with it. If you were 
figure a few things out, live and learn. Now we moved it and I'm happy with the new location. Now is a great time to subscribe. If you're already not a subscriber, go on down, hit subscribe, ring the bell. That'll turn on notifications and fingers crossed. If YouTube feels like it at the moment, they might let you know if we uploaded a new video, went live, or posted something on our community tab. The best thing to remember is we post a video every day at 6 a.m. We've been doing a video a day since April 1st and we haven't missed one yet. We used to upload at 3.30 in the afternoon. Now we upload at 6 a.m. So always come back. We're always going to be doing something new and crazy here. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. You ready to go in? Let's go. Go. What are you doing? Where'd you go? What? Go ahead, let's go in the house. Whoa, you're crazy. You ready? Hey, this way. <laughs>